Welcome to my channel Cyber Network. In today's interconnected world, network security is paramount. Our data, communications, and digital lives depend on it. One such attack, ARP spoofing, highlights the importance of understanding network protocols. ARP spoofing is a technique used by malicious actors to intercept data on a network. It exploits a fundamental network protocol, the Address Resolution Protocol ARP. By understanding ARP spoofing we gain valuable insights into network vulnerabilities and learn how to protect ourselves. This essay delves into the intricacies of ARP spoofing, providing a beginner-friendly guide to its execution and prevention. We'll explore the setup required for ARP spoofing, including the versatile operating system Kali Linux and essential tools like ARP spoof and Wireshark. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Ethical hacking, a cornerstone of cybersecurity, involves using hacking techniques for good to identify and fix vulnerabilities. Before we dive into ARP spoofing, it's crucial to understand the Address Resolution Protocol ARP. ARP maps IP addresses to MAC addresses, unique hardware identifiers assigned to network interface cards and IX. Imagine you're sending a letter, you know the recipient's address but the postal service needs their name to deliver it. ARP acts as the bridge between these two addresses, ensuring smooth communication between devices on a network. When a device wants to communicate with another device on a local network, it first checks its ARP cache. If the MAC address for the destination IP is not found, the device initiates an ARP request. This request, broadcast to all devices on the network, asks, Who has this IP address? Please tell me your MAC address. The device with the corresponding IP address responds with its MAC address, allowing the sender to update its ARP cache and initiate communication. However, the reliance on trust within ARP is also its Achilles heel, making it susceptible to spoofing attacks. Now that we understand ARP, let's set up our environment for exploring ARP spoofing. We'll be using Kali Linux, a Debian-based Linux distribution designed for penetration testing and ethical hacking. Kali Linux comes preloaded with a comprehensive suite of tools including those we'll be utilizing for ARP spoofing. Two key tools we'll be using are ARP Spoof, a command line utility for performing ARP spoofing attacks, and Wireshark, a powerful network protocol analyzer. ARP Spoof allows us to send forged ARP replies effectively poisoning the ARP cache of target devices. It enables us to redirect network traffic from a legitimate device to our attacker machine. Wireshark captures and analyzes network traffic in real time, allowing us to inspect data packets and verify if our ARP spoofing attack is successful. Before proceeding with the actual attack, it's crucial to grasp the ethical and legal implications of ARP spoofing. Let's delve into the step-by-step -step process of executing an ARP spoofing attack. This guide is for educational purposes only. Step 1. Network Reconnaissance. Using Nmap, scan the network to identify active hosts and their IP addresses. Step 2. Enabling IP forwarding. Enable IP forwarding to act as a gateway, forwarding traffic between the target and router. In Kali Linux, use the command echo1, slash proc, slash sys, slash net, slash ipv4, slash ip underscore forward. Step 3. Launching the ARP spoofing attack. Use ARP spoof to send forged ARP replies targeting both the victim and the router. Step 4. Capturing traffic with Wireshark. Open Wireshark and start capturing traffic. With our ARP spoofing attack in place, let's use Wireshark to examine the captured network traffic. Wireshark provides a detailed breakdown of data packets, allowing us to see the inner workings of our attack. We can see the source and destination IP addresses, the protocol being used, and the actual data payload in some cases. By applying filters in Wireshark, we can focus on specific types of traffic. For example, we can filter for HTTP traffic to see what websites the victim is visiting. If the website uses the insecure HTTP protocol, we can even see the usernames, passwords, and other sensitive information being transmitted. This ability to capture and analyze network traffic highlights the potential dangers of ARP spoofing. Ethical hackers use tools like Wireshark to understand vulnerabilities and develop better defenses. While ARP spoofing can be an effective tool for ethical hacking, it's crucial to understand the ethical implications and legal boundaries. Like any powerful tool, ARP spoofing can be used for both good and malicious purposes. Ethically, it's essential to obtain explicit permission from the network owner before performing any form of network scanning or testing. Unauthorized access to computer systems and networks is illegal and unethical, regardless of intent. 
Ethical hackers operate within the confines of the law and respect the privacy of others. Legally, the use of ARP spoofing for malicious purposes is a crime in most jurisdictions. The consequences can range from fines to imprisonment, depending on the severity of the offense. Use ARP spoofing responsibly and ethically, strictly within the bounds of the law and with proper authorization. Let's focus on defending against ARP spoofing. Several strategies can help mitigate the risks. Configure static ARP entries on critical devices. Segment networks into smaller subnets. Use ARP spoofing detection tools. Employ encrypted protocols like HTTPS. Educate users on network security. Implement these strategies to reduce ARP spoofing risks. As with any cybersecurity technique, ARP spoofing has evolved beyond its basic form. Attackers constantly seek new ways to exploit vulnerabilities, and ARP spoofing is no exception. Here we delve into some advanced ARP spoofing techniques that go beyond the traditional approach. Firstly, ARP poisoning with proxies. Attackers can leverage proxy servers to further obfuscate their presence and make it harder to trace the attack back to them. Next, combination attacks. Attackers often combine ARP spoofing with other techniques such as DNS spoofing or session hijacking to amplify their effectiveness. Then, ARP spoofing on switched networks. Attackers have developed techniques like ARP flooding and MAC address table overflow attacks to target devices on switched networks. Lastly, tool automation and scripting. Attackers often automate ARP spoofing techniques using scripts and automated tools to streamline their attacks. Understanding these advanced techniques is crucial for security professionals to stay ahead of the curve and develop effective countermeasures. The theoretical understanding of ARP spoofing is incomplete without exploring its real-world implications. Let's examine some notable case studies and scenarios where ARP spoofing has been used, both maliciously and ethically. First, data theft in public Wi-Fi networks. Attackers exploit the open nature of public Wi-Fi networks to launch attacks against unsuspecting users. By spoofing the MAC address of the legitimate access point, they can intercept all data transmitted by a victim. Next, corporate espionage and sabotage. In corporate environments, ARP spoofing can be used for espionage and sabotage. Disgruntled employees or malicious actors can deploy ARP spoofing to steal confidential data or disrupt business operations. Then, law enforcement and surveillance. Law enforcement agencies sometimes use ARP spoofing techniques for surveillance purposes to intercept communications of suspects. Lastly, penetration testing and vulnerability assessments. Ethical hackers use ARP spoofing as a controlled method to test the security of networks and identify vulnerabilities. As technology continues to evolve, so do the methods and sophistication of cyber attacks. ARP spoofing remains a relevant threat due to its simplicity and effectiveness. Let's look at the future of ARP spoofing and how security measures are evolving to counter this persistent threat. Firstly, increased automation and sophistication. We can expect to see a rise in automated ARP spoofing tools and scripts, making it easier for even novice attackers to launch attacks. Next, targeting new technologies. As we embrace new technologies like the Internet of Things, IoT, and 5G networks, the attack surface for ARP spoofing expands. Then, AI-powered detection and prevention. Security researchers are turning to artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning, ML, to develop more sophisticated detection and prevention mechanisms. Lastly, network security awareness and training. Educating users on best practices can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to ARP spoofing attacks. By staying informed about emerging threats and adopting proactive security measures, we can navigate the evolving landscape of cyber threats effectively. In conclusion, our exploration of ARP spoofing has taken us deep into the world of network protocols, vulnerabilities, and the delicate balance between attack and defense. We've gained a firm understanding of how ARP, a fundamental protocol for network communication, can be exploited to intercept data and compromise security. Our journey through the world of ARP spoofing highlighted the importance of ethical hacking. By understanding the tools and techniques used by malicious actors, ethical hackers play a crucial role in identifying and mitigating vulnerabilities. As we move forward in our exploration of cybersecurity, let's remember that knowledge is power. By continuously learning, adapting, and embracing ethical hacking practices, we can work together to create a safer and more secure digital world. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you like my video, please subscribe and share my channel, Cyber Network.